Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we did a little bit of advanced part of navigating and extracting some information from a website. We were able to extract the images, we were able to extract the links and then console logging them. Today, we are going to go one step ahead and what we'll do is extract all the SEO related information of a particular website. This is a classic example most likely if you're using puppeteer you would want to uh, scrap data and then in that especially the important information is the seo information so in this episode we'll learn how to extract the seo data of any website let's get started this is part six of the uh, series if you haven't checked out the first five parts i'll request you to kindly do so so that you have continuity in your learning and you can master puppeteer with me this is the complete playlist of um, tutorials that I'll be covering today we are on episode number six all right so what are we going to learn today today we'll learn to extract the SEO related information like title meta description meta keywords links images link count image count which we did in last episode also like I said it's an incremental thing we'll keep adding to it and we'll keep adding the complexity all the use cases will be covered from simple to complex so that's why I'm doing this incremental model Without wasting any time, let's jump right into code. All right, so what I'm going to do first, as always, I'll create a new JS file. And the reason I create new JS files is also because I want um, you to know that something, so that if I, if I start from the previous one, you would be kind of lost if you're new here. Uh, to give you comfort and to give you confidence, I code every single time. All right, so we will be extracting the SEO data and last time I told you that today I'll show you how to write it to a file so let's do that also I'm going to do a file extraction using node.js fs right file system so that's the module I would work with today and as always let's write the async function all right now that I have my async function, as always, the first thing we do is to fire up the browser instance using Puppeteer. Now I'm sure you two are confident and you're also coding like a pro now, all this stuff. If not, I want you there. All right, so I'm going to say, wait, browser dot new page. And we are saying go to that page and we have the page instance. Now let's navigate. So we are going to write page, right? Page dot go to and then give the URL. Again, for now, I'm going to stick to google.com, but you can give any URL that you would like to uh, get the data. All right. Uh, so, first thing, uh, what we'll do is we want to extract the SEO related data. So data so here I'm going to say const title let me extract the title first page dot title it will give us the title then I also want the meta description right so not meet meta all right uh, meta description equal to now this is where I'm going to use single dollar eval method and here I'm going to mention what type of data I want okay so you can we can mention here and say we are looking for a tag called meta with the name equal to description because we want to extract the metadata of that particular element and then what we want to do is have it in an element right it's a single element so and just return that okay for now I'll just say return dot text content okay so that way we can get the meta description now, same way I'm going to do meta keywords that's another very important part of meta page dot dollar eval and so a lot of you have written to me asking um, if you want to buy heart all these methods everything um, ideally no uh, because as you work with any tool for a long time you get used to 
its methods and functionality and features so I'm sure I'm confident that um, as we move forward you would automatically learn them by heart okay so no need of any special work that you need to put together all right so now we have got the title description and keywords so now let's extract links also right so links we saw in the last episode also so I'm sure that you are now comfortable in extracting that I'm sure all right so I'm going to say page weight dot um, this is where we'll use the double eval and we are going to say extract all the anchor tags and put them in elements and then we are going to loop them and set the data so how do we do that elements dot uh, map it's an array so we'll use map method and element and then we are going to take each of that and here I'm going to assign that and say source is coming from element dot element dot source okay um, oh sorry element dot href and then we also want the text that is there in the link so we are going to say element dot text content so once you have the details of the link that's fine now you are closing the eval here perfect this is good now same way let's extract images also const images equal to await I'm making it big so you can see it clear page dot eval and here we are going to say extract all the IMGs and you will get an array of elements and what we will do is elements dot map again and for each of the element we will loop and just like how we did earlier for the link same way we'll build that object and here we are going to say source and element dot img img has source and we are going to take an alt text and say element dot alt will give us the alt tag okay now this will extract all the images this will extract all the links and we might also as well want to throw in the count of it right so you can do that also and say image count equal to images dot length and link count equal to links dot length okay so now we have all the information that we need for that particular web page now I told you we have to write it in a JSON file or a file format right some file we have to write so for that I'm going to create prepare my data this is images and links okay so once you have the images then prepare output format and here we are going to just create that so let's say output data equal to and this is all JSON okay so I'm just going to throw everything right from title meta description meta keywords links image count link count so my object is ready now the last thing we need to do is convert this into convert JSON into a string right output JSON So once you have the data we are using stringify to make it flat and all we need to do now is to write it to a file so I'm saying fs so this is the method we'll use which is fs write file sync here you'll give the name of the output file that you need and output 
JSON data. Okay. All right. And the last thing we'll need is to obviously close our browser. Okay. Now we are just using this name for now. Ideally, you will use a dynamic uh, file name so that every time it's new data. All right. So we created the browser. We have the page. We are going to google.com and we are extracting the SEO related information. We are extracting the links. We are extracting the images and taking counts of the images and the links and finally putting them all in a JSON format. Finally, we'll convert it into a stringify and then write it to a file. Okay, using write file sync. This is the inbuilt method of FS module. All right, so far so good. Looks good. Now let's run it. Um, so to run, we'll write node episode 6.js and nothing. Okay, as usual, I, I have to call the method. So at the end, you have to call it. Now run it. Hopefully it works. Okay, so it is giving an error. Let's see. Uh, so it has printed the data, but then it is throwing evaluation failed. Okay, fail to extract is not a valid selector. Okay, so it's saying is not a valid selector. Now let's see why that is saying so. Um, we have the meta tag name equal to description. We have opened it correctly. We are closing it correct. Meta name equal to, okay, sorry. We don't need the double quotes. That's the mistake. All right, now I think it should work. So now we are telling find an element meta and its attribute should be, it is still failing. It's saying meta name equal to description is not a valid. And we are using dollar eval we are saying page dot eval wait meta name equal to description element element dot let's see what other options it has uh, text content is the correct one um, right uh, what else are we missing let's check text content element dot text content that should be it ideally, but name equal to, okay. All right, all right, all right. I think I gave wrong here. Okay, got it. Okay, sometimes this can be confusion with so many uh, closing and opening braces, but yeah, that's the issue and we found it now. It should be fixed now. It is still saying fail to find an element matching selector. Okay, so one could be that that particular website doesn't have it. So I'm going to try with yahoo.com and see if still I get that error. Okay, so now it ran without any errors. So here we see it has extracted the title. It, the meta description is empty. Meta keywords is empty, but it extracted the data whatever we wanted. Okay. So if you go to a website which has that data, ideally you should see that data coming up in your count. So we get the images, links, the count correctly. All right. So that's all um, for today. This is how you extract the SEO information that you need, the title, description, keywords, links, and images. And we are writing it to a file, okay? Do give it a try. Let me know if you see any issues or errors. We'll be happy to help you. In the next episode, I'll show you how to generate PDF files of a particular web page. Interesting because you will need to store your output somewhere. PDFs are one of the best way to analyze it later. So join me in the next episode. We'll learn about generating PDF using Puppeteer.
thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode